Hello, today I'm going to show you guys how to make chicken pot pies. First ingredient we're going to use is frozen or fresh corn and peas. Next one is tender flakes puff pastries. And Campbell's cream of chicken and I pick low fat because I don't want to get fat. Here I chopped up small chunks of chicken and marinated with just black pepper to add that extra kick and also have uh, small pieces of potato. And who's going to forget chunks of cheese? Shredded or chunks is up to you. And uh, basically we're not going to use any paper stuff to hold it, we're going to use the muffin pan. Okay, so easy step, just oil up the muffin pan. Keep going till you're done all 12 of them. Yep. First, I'm just gonna mix all the ingredients together. Put your chicken and potatoes with the corn and peas and just mix it up until everything is just clumped up. After you're done all that, you can take your cream of chicken and just put like maybe two to three spoonfuls and mix that up. So yeah, once you're done mixing, your consistency of chicken and all the other stuff should look like that. Now it's time to prepare the pastry. Just take your rolling pin or use your hands, whatever, and start to flatten it out. Once you think the pastry is in the right thickness, grab your cookie cutter and just stamp it, peel off the excess, and repeat the steps over again. One box of tender flakes is enough for 12. Just flatten everything and put everything on the muffin pan. Take your mixture from before and grab about a spoonful and a half and place that in each muffin area. Now it's the time to preheat your oven. Keep it up at 325 degrees. Sprinkle cheese generously all over each chicken pot pie. Remember the can of cream of chicken? We still have some left, so we're just gonna cover the pies with whatever we have left. Cheese, more cheese. I like to put the top part with uh, chunks of cheese or shredded cheese, it's up to you. I'm just gonna layer it just because cheese is the best. Or Dave's. <laughs> Timing is amazing. The oven should be ready and we're done. Let's just put it in the oven and now we can bake it. Just leave it inside for about 30 minutes or when you can see that all the cheese is starting to get dark. Awesome, so now we're done. What I do to take out the Popeyes, I just take a fork, strip the sides, and just put it onto a plate, and yeah. Cleaning the muffin pans can be such a pain, but I hope you enjoy this easy recipe, and good luck.